Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Seth from Speculating Reviews, and I have not made a video in forever. <laughs> Just gonna outright say it. Um, I've had some. I've been at school uh, for a while, trying to focus on that um, and, and other stuff. But uh, today I have a video. Um, I updated recently to iOS 5. Um, as it came out yesterday on October 12th. Um, I wasn't the majority of the people uh, that had problems, uh, luckily, and if you have problems, I'm going to help you out. Um, so as you can see, I am on iOS 5, you can see Notification Center there. Um, but what I did uh, with the iOS 5 you know, download and installation, uh, Instead of going directly from iTunes, I downloaded a direct link uh, from great guys at uh, iDownloadBlog. Um, I will put a link in the, des the description to the downloads page. Um, and what you want to do is when you go to the page, uh, let me bring it up real quick and uh, I'll do some amateur... Uh, uh, what do we want to call it? Amateur video camera uh, angles. Uh, I'm gonna basically take my webcam and look at the computer and show you all uh, what I am talking about. Okay, so the link um, will send you to this page. Um, uh, it'll actually take you to this page uh, coming up here. Their downloads page. Okay, so uh, Jeff from I Download Blog, uh, My Jailbreak Movies, go check him out on YouTube. Does great videos for jailbreak tweets. Um, if you scroll down here, you can see iOS firmwares and iOS 5. So, what you want to do is select which one uh, you have. Uh, I obviously have an iPhone 4 GSM, uh, so I would click this. Uh, in Google Chrome, it will show up as downloading at the bottom here in a second. Um, and it'll basically download. Uh, so, if any of you have ever downloaded a firmware IPSW before, you know uh, what you'll recognize this. And uh, what you'll want to do once it is downloaded, you'll go into iTunes and go into iTunes here. Let me load it up. Uh, let me plug in. That was a very amateur video, I'm sorry. I uh, wasn't totally prepared. just thought I'd make this, because uh, a lot of people have been having uh, problems with it. And uh, so, personally, I've had no errors at all while restoring or updating or anything. And I found this to work a lot better. Um, the download in iTunes seems to take a long time. And with my internet connection, which is terrible, <laughs> it will... Uh, disconnect and I will have to restart the download. Uh, luckily with the download uh, from I download blog I don't need to do that and it just kind of pauses and just starts back up when the connection gets back. Uh, so basically uh, what you'll want to do is once that is downloaded you'll want to figure out where the file is uh, so you know uh, where to choose it from and then you'll want to go into iTunes uh, to your uh, sync page uh, on the left hand side where it shows your devices. Um, you can see it says, says, the, says iPhone. Uh, and I'll click on that right here um, for you guys to load. As you can see, devices says iPhone. Okay. So as that's loading, okay, there we go. Much better. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is just your normal sync page. Uh, what you'll want to do instead of the update button right here, uh, check for update or update, uh, you'll want to this restore button right here. Once your file is downloaded, you will want to go to this restore button. On Max, I think it is the uh, command or control button. I'm not totally sure. Uh, for Windows, it's your shift button. You'll hold the shift button. Let's see if I can do this. You'll hold your shift button and you'll click restore. 
Uh, so you'll click restore and basically what's going to come up is a uh, browse thing to find your file. Uh, so for me, I need to go to uh, computer, computer. Um, basically wherever you're going to find your file. Uh, for my case, it is in my uh, downloads file of my documents um, using Windows Vista. Uh, so I'm looking here and documents and it should show up. Oh, downloads. Um, okay, so there we go. iPhone 3, 1, 5.0, blah, 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 restore. So this is my iOS 5 IPSW firmware download file. You'll want to select that, hit open. I'm not going to do that because I'm already done the process and what it will do is basically go through a restore mode uh, and will restore to iOS 5. So basically it's the same thing as updating. Um, in a sense it is a little bit easier. Uh, from what I've used it um, there was no errors at all when restoring or updating uh, which many many people have been uh, getting from the Apple servers. Um, so I find I found it to be a better option uh, compared to using the whole iTunes download system. Uh, so you'll just hit restore, choose the file, and it will you'll open the file uh, from there, and it will go through its process. And you can go through the process. It'll restore your phone. It will install the uh, update uh, for iOS 5, and then you can resync uh, everything up back to your phone. So it's basically easy as that. It's really not that hard or difficult to do. Um, what I advise is that you uh, sync, of course, and back up your iPhone's uh, data and everything before you do this. Um, you don't want to have backup problems. If for some reason you, a lot of people have been getting a backup uh, error lately, and including me before I attempted to update. Uh, what you'll want to do is go into iTunes at the top, you'll go to Edit, and then you'll go down to Preferences. And once you open Preferences, it will open this little uh, file thing, uh, or thing, and you will go to Devices. And you can see here, here's your device backups uh, right there. And if you're having backup problems where it will not you know, restore or anything like that, take your backups. And delete them, uh, and then resync your iPhone um, to back it up uh, once again. It should work if you don't have any backups in there. It, it's been an odd problem that's going been going on, uh, but for me, it's worked, um, and I've smoothly gotten onto iOS 5. I, I mean, it did take a while, of course, to sync everything back, uh, but the whole process of uh, restoring and installing was relatively fast. Um, and of course, the download uh, for the IPSW is, in my opinion, faster than the iTunes. Uh, of course, it depends on your uh, internet connection. Uh, but guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this helps you out. Please leave in the comments if you uh, use this process to uh, get your uh, get iOS 5 onto your device. Um, if it helped you out, if there are no errors, if there were errors, errors, let me know in the comments, especially. Um, I'm not saying this is going to be an error-free, but from my experience, it's been uh, error-free and just a smooth, smooth experience. Again, I want to thank the guys at iDownloadBlog uh, for having this direct download link um, on their site. It uh, helped me out a lot. Um, for downloading iOS 5. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this video. If you do, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be having some iOS 5 videos, uh, my thoughts on iOS 5. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, anything helps me out. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, and I will have another video up soon. Thanks again, guys. This is Seth from Speculating Reviews.